بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوری ون ہوپ یو آل آر ڈوئنگ گڈ ڈو لائک سبسکرائب اینڈ فالو دی چینل سو ٹو ڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دی کمپلیٹ کورس آؤٹ لائن آف انٹروڈکشن ٹو انفارمیشن اینڈ کمیونیکیشن ٹیکنالوجیز کورس دی کورس کوڈ از سی ایل ون ون سیون اینڈ دی آؤٹ لائن ول بی کنسسٹیڈ آف اے بریف ڈسکرپشن آف دی ٹاپکس دیٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو بی اسٹڈیڈ ان دس کورس سو لیٹس بگن We will start the course from the introduction of the computer science. In these lectures, we will be discussing what computer science is and how it is being used in the modern era of technology. In the second lecture, we will be doing tutorials of MS Office because it is important for a computer science student to have reporting and presentry skills. MS Office applications such as MS Word and MS PowerPoint enable a student to communicate their project ideas or messages effectively. In the third lecture, we will be getting familiarize ourselves with the history and evolution of the computer systems throughout the decades. In the fourth lecture, we will see a few modern applications of the computer science in different disciplines. Next, in the fifth lecture, we will be understanding the number system and discussing which number system is being used by the computer system and why just for the note it's binary in sixth we will be discussing the computer organization in detail including some different components of the computer systems and their details in the seventh lecture we will clearly identify the importance of mathematics in the computer science including cryptography optimization problems and graph theories in lecture 8 we will have clear understanding of mathematics use in computer science so we will be moving forward to learn some counting techniques including factorials and combinations etc in lecture 9 we will discuss the operating system along with its components and importance in the computer system along with some uh, layers of the operating system in 10th lecture we will look into data management and we will dive into databases and their applications the types of the databases then in 11th lecture after understanding the data management the databases etc we will do the tutorials of ms excel and ms access to understand the databases in much more detail in the 12th lecture we will see some big data introduction and their applications to get familiarized with the concepts in lecture 13 we will discuss the communication techniques protocols standards and different topologies in digital devices In lecture 14 we will discuss the artificial intelligence in detail along with its certain applications. In lecture 15 we will see machine learning introduction in detail along with applications as well. Then in lecture 16 we will be discussing artificial intelligence versus machine learning in order to avoid any beginner misunderstanding of these two concepts. In lecture 17 we will briefly look into web development and its components. In lecture 18 we will be learning HTML at a certain level. In lecture 19 we will be discussing the computer graphics and their applications. Then in the last lecture we will be summarizing our course by doing a brief review of all the topics that we have studied so far. In total we will have 20 main lectures in this course discussing different topics at a certain level this course is defined for the computer science beginners to help them motivate themselves to learn computer science further in depth this course also helps the students to identify their interest in different domains of computer science at a very initial level of their studies looking forward to all of you in the course Till then have a good day everyone remember me in your prayers peamanallah